Hello Happy Crafters, I'm Tamara Hope and I'm back with another project share. This one I'm calling the Let It Be Folio. It is another two day folio. So it measures six and a half by eight and a half. So let's get into it and try and keep this uh, short. This project is a pretty full project actually. It's got flips and flaps all over the place. It'll hold probably as I've counted, it will hold about 60 photos comfortably. It's not completely full. Like you can see, there's a photo place for a photo mat here. It is not 100% full. And there is still room for, as it sits right now, probably about 55 to 60 photos. And like I say, there's still room for more. Oopsie. You got flips and flaps, and photo mats. I gotta put another one here. You can add photos here. This will just slide out. This opens up. This will slide out, but I've got nothing here for right now. Okay, so then you got a couple of, if you take this out, I put the stickers there to kind of help with it being just another cut tuck spot here. And then you got another tuck spot with a couple of photos. Hopefully you can see that. Okay, and then the other side is the is a mirrored image. It may be decorated slightly different. Again, that pulls out. Different tuck spot here. Okay, like I say, you can add more photos there. I need a photo mat to go in here, so it's it's not quite done. Another, like you got room here. This is a big pocket for a photo mat. Okay, you can put a photo mat like this in here. It is on acetate, so it's only got one, one layer of, of pattern paper. But I wanted it this way. So I put it in here. Okay, you got a couple more photos here. Okay, you got a, a stack pocket here, and this one will go all the way to the bottom, as you can see. It could, you, it'll take another photo mat, but I don't have one in there quite yet. You take something like this and put it in there, something like that. But I have that one in here because it shows the picture. And then this is just a photo mat. Or I guess it is an insert, but photo mat. You can put a photo here. And I think that about does it. And there's a look at the back. That's fine. Um, because the, as you can see, it's very alligator mouth here. I have in the cutting guide, I have expanded the spine. I just got to do some switching, but, uh, please leave me a comment. Love to hear what you think, what you think I can change, what you would like to see. Thanks for watching.